Hello and welcome to a breezy but beautiful September day here in beautiful Nova Scotia. Welcome to my channel The Optimistic Gardener, my name is Steve Farley and a special welcome to episode one of The Optimistic Gardener's 2020 greenhouse build. Greenhouse build? I thought you just built a greenhouse, I hear you say. Well yes, those of you that have uh, watched a few of my videos before will know that last autumn stroke winter mostly winter I, I built a greenhouse on the other side of my my garden built it out of pallets and a bit of a, a plastic dome and that's been really really successful this year but I've loved it so much that I want to build another one and I want to build a bigger one so even though I've got a big biggish garden I haven't got that many sites that I really want to put um, the new greenhouse and not this is now at the opposite side to my garden than my actual veg patch down there um, this is on the eastern side of my garden eastern side of my house rather and my garden um, it's a bit of a scrub patch that I've got out the back here I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it but after building the greenhouse I thought right this is perfect for it and behind me was where my, my boy's trampoline is. And if you can see that at the back there, there was a trampoline there, there now, and I've moved that out. The greenhouse is going to be six, about 16 foot wide by 24 foot long. The more um, observant of maths people of you will sort of work that out that that's um, about four pallets wide and six pallets long. Excellent, nice and easy, nice and easy maths. And that's a good thing about working with, with pallets. I've got them all, all worked out four feet, four feet, four feet, and I can just go along the four sides or the three sides plus obviously a bit of a difference on the front. So the front's gonna be at that end because south is that end. Um, it's still not ideal at some part of the day, this, the house that's on, on the side of me here is obviously, as you can see, starting to shade it it's about five o'clock now in september late september so um i'll still be able to in the winter hopefully get some growing of um some veg etc at least on the eastern side of the uh of the greenhouse when i build it right so what else do we need to know about the greenhouse other than it's going to be uh, obviously made of mostly pallets now i was going to do the usual dome routine nice and easy just got to be a bit, bit of a wider span but fortunately and unfortunately fortunately in that it's really good um and somebody's given me this stuff and it's free unfortunately it's going to cause me a bit more technical design work is i've been given a load of plexiglass which is underneath the uh the deck there as you can see literally loads of plexiglass um sarah's boss was kind enough to to give me that so you never turn down something free like that lots of different sizes so that's going to be a bit tricky and also some friends of mine pat and uh, pedro routier were just uh, changing out their deck on the on the beautiful seafront of hubbards there and uh, some of the deck was uh, had some glass you know in the in the fencing so i've got four three foot by six foot pieces of tempered glass excellent but again that's going to cause me some problems but it's not actually i've got a really good idea already that is going to be the front or most of the the, the front either side of the door of the greenhouse what else do we need to know it's a bit scrub ground here most of it is um most of it's flat out there now this bit behind on the side that you can't see but you can see now because i'm showing you um this scrubby bit i've got to flatten this out and this is going to be um, a bit of a, a storage area. I'm going to put a load of water butts in there so that I can sort of automatically water my, my greenhouse easily with stored water up here so I don't have to run a hose up. Uh, and then I'll put some compost bins, etc., behind here and a little sitting area out the back so that I can uh, ponder on, on life while I'm in between greenhousing. Oh, the other thing is the greenhouse itself. On this side, the first eight foot is not going to be greenhouse. It's going to be more shed. 
rather than the greenhouse. So I'll have eight foot of shed and then 16 foot by 16 foot of greenhouse, which is still a nice sizable area, but I thought I could have a nice little potting shed um, at the back end and store stuff, etc., and the greenhouse bit at the front. So there we go, I've got, what have I got? So there's, as you can see, all my pallets stored down the bottom end of the garden, ready to go. There's 25, 26 pallets down there. Should be easy enough to, to get the walls, etc., going. Uh, I've got a load of earth just dumped down there. That's gonna, what I'm gonna do is put cardboard down as a, as a bottom, and then I'm gonna put earth on top of that, and then I'm gonna build, not the high raised beds, like I've got in that, that bottom shed I'm going to do sort of a foot high maybe two foot high raised beds some in the middle some on the sides as you can see on the plan there that's my sort of outline idea and those of you who's watched these videos before again will know it's only an outline as a rule I'll make it up as I go along uh, last thing before we get to action is a bit of a guest star coming in this in this series hopefully an old shipmate of mine, I ran the field gun crew back in, in 1991 with him, Joe Graham. He's, uh, he's just moved out here, out to Bedford with his wife. And um, he's kindly volunteered to help me out on this, uh, on this adventure. It gives him something to do. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to working with him. It's always good to do a bit of work with, with, with someone you know, get the banter going, and we can definitely uh, have a good laugh and get it up quicker. So there's the ins and outs of the actual uh, start of the plan. Next thing, get amongst it. Right, I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so the first thing is now, is I'm gonna level this, this, this bottom area here and then strim, obviously, all the rubbish there. And then I'm gonna lay the framework of the bottom of the pallet. So I'm not gonna lay the pallets straight down onto the grass, because obviously they're gonna rot away. I'm gonna get some um, tanalized, uh, treated wood, whatever you wanna call it. And they are two by sixes. Gonna have some two by sixes all the way along. So that's gonna be a frame all the way around the bottom of the greenhouse. And then they'll be screwed together and the pallets will go on top of them. So they've got a nice little um, gap between them and the actual Earth. So I shall do that first. Hello and welcome to Grand Designs. It's looking a bit Grand Design already. So as you can see I've got the um, two by sixes and made this sort of outside of the greenhouse and what I thought I'd do is I brought the, um, the pallets up as well because obviously I've got to use them very soon anyway but I thought I'd model the inside of what my sort of the plan of the inside of the greenhouse and see see what it's like for walking through and access lanes etc etc so the the pallets in the center here these are what i think is going to be the center raised bed i've left me i started out thinking i was going to do three foot from the front door but when i think about Look, I'm going to bring a, uh, a wheelbarrow in here. Makes sense to be able to bring a wheelbarrow in. So to need for that, I need a good three and a half foot. So I've got a three and a half foot gap. Then the major raised bed. This is four foot by ten foot. And on this side here, we've got a, a raised bed because this is the eastern side. So it will face the sun all the way through throughout the day. So it will get a good part of that that sunshine even in the sort of evening so that's going to go all the way along there and that's two foot now i'm thinking this walkway is a bit too wide a bit wasted space so that is three and a half foot so why don't i move that in either move this raised bed make it wider so that'd be five foot. That's stretching the sort of longest, the widest you want a bed really, because you don't want to be stretching more than a couple of feet in. So I might pinch a bit, or I might add a bit on 
to that side there. But I like the look of that. So I can walk all the way down here. On this side, the same thing. But this is gonna be bench. It's gonna have a bench all the way, a high bench. So I can put pots and things on there. So that'll go all the way down this side. And then in there, that's the shed. That um, sort of a conglomerate of of actual uh, pallets is representing the table. So obviously it's not going to be that high, but the sort of um, the sort of size of it, lengthwise. So I can go a bit further that way. Um, but I wanted to have a bit of a seating area in here. You know, not to you know not to have posh dinners or anything, but nice comfy chair, table have a cup of tea, etc. So I'm thinking that I might have to pinch another pallet's worth length out. So add another four feet to it. Starting to become a whole house in itself, but I like the thought of that, of having a, a little seating area, or I might just not have as many cupboards on the backside there. Either way, I think I like generally the sort of dimensions of it and what I'm going to be able to do, you know, tomatoes all up high and sort of cucumbers going up tall in this centre bit and maybe along the side here and things in pots along the side here as well. You know, this front is all going to be glass, like, I've, like I said. But I like the look of it. I think that is a good start. So I'm going to finish this episode now. And in the next episode, I'm going to get the sides up and hopefully the frame for the front, etc. I'm going to be doing these, um, I think, on a weekly basis, the updates. So the next one, you know, I'll be in a week's time. But we've got a bit of a, a hurricane come cyclone coming tomorrow, uh, Wednesday, into Wednesday. So um, hopefully not everything's uh, been devastated. Normally quite lucky here because I've protection from the trees. We're just below the brow of a hill and the protection from the trees is normally is normally good and the wind sort of whips over the top of us. So fingers crossed, everything will still be here um, in a few days' time. I can get amongst the sides and then give you the next update. Anyway, so far I think job is definitely a good one. See you in the next episode.